Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pro Evolution Soccer 2021, uh, episode, I don't know, 35. It's probably more than that. Might be less than that. Who knows? I don't know what episode number it is. Anyway, if you haven't gone, I've calmed down since the last episode. Hands are no longer sweaty. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched it, bloody hell, go and watch it. What a cup. What a cup game. You can see the score there. Well, you sort of can see the score there behind my head. 3-2 is what it was. Um, absolutely unbelievable. We've still not signed anybody, but today we are playing uh, Club, Club, Club Bruges. Club Bruges in the league. So, top. Nine points ahead of us. We need to get the win to reel them in and to keep some momentum going. Uh, we've we've turned it around. We've been playing pretty well. We sort of fixed on uh, some advanced instructions that seem to work for us. So we're going to go for for those again. Which uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. What was it? What did we do? We did centering targets, which we already had. Uh, oh no, was it that attacking fullback, centering targets, counter target on Amala, and then yeah, it will be tight marking the one striker they're going to be playing. So Club Bruges obviously are very very good. We'll go to the game day and then sort out the 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 team that we've got. Uh, a couple of people have left. A couple of rubbish players. I nearly swore. A couple of rubbish players uh, have left. So yeah, that's that's that. But a game against uh, Club Bruges, and then I think Andelect as well later on in this one. We'll have to see how that goes. So, four arrows. Uh, some people are loving life. Gillet is going to come. Gillette, Gillette, I think, is going to come and go. We'll call him Gillet for now. Faye, Lafis, uh, Van Heusen, Gavroy, Simrock, Bastian, Amala. Yeah, Drag. They say start Draghouse. Okay, interesting. Where's our boy Andre Green? He deserves a start. He's, he's played very well recently. Uh, we'll put... I like to have people that are on form on the bench, so I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, where's, what's the form of our big striker then? Where is he? Aventi, there he is. Oh, he's down. Maleka, Lestien, I feel, needs to go on the bench as well. Um, we don't need two holding midfielders, so Shamar's going to be the one missing out. Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. Because they, they, we have got people, these players can all play out front as well, so it does give us options. Right. Um, oh, no, I need to sort out who comes up for corners because I haven't done that yet either. So corners, players to join attack, the two centre-backs. That's it for now then. The centre-forward will stay up there. Let's get into it. We're in our red. We're away from home. Club Bruges, big game. Big game. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back for this huge game in the uh, the the Belgium Jupiler League, I think uh, is what I want to call it. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, Club Bruges hosting Standard Liège in a rivalry game. This one, Club Bruges comfortably top of the table. And at Stand Liège down in seventh, only nine points off top though, so not completely insurmountable. But Zlatko Zahovic knows that his first target this season as manager of Stand Liège is to just push for a European spot. Uh, he's a manager that could be on to bigger and better things, who knows. His son is still doing well over in Argentina and surely a move to Europe beckons soon for him. But uh, let's get ready for this one then, Club Bruges host Stand Liège. And it is the home team that gets underway, Club Bruges kick us off. And they've got Balanta at the back, a good, strong centre-back. Clinton Matter at uh, right back for them today. Scrivers can't keep that one in, and it drifts off for a throw-in to Standard Liège. So nice early touches of the ball for the away team, although Van Heusen has had a, an absolute shocker there where he forgot to take the ball with him, and it's going to open up to Dennis, who shoots straight at the keeper, and this time Van Heusen just clears his line, although even that isn't the most convincing. Bastien... Gives away a free kick. I thought he won the ball. Van Aken is there. And Van Aken's got, if I remember, a good set piece on him. I think he's another one that on uh, on Football Manager is quite a good player, Van Aken. So, but they're going to give it to Vorma. And uh, Vorma tries to go up and over the wall. And it hits the wall. And can Lafayette keep that in? No, he can't. It will be a corner kick to Club Bruce. A positive start for the home team. And Stan is looking a little bit sort of rabbit in the headlights at the moment. As uh, the corner comes in all the way towards the back post. Vorma wins it, but it's over the bar. Faye with a long crossfield pass to pick out the opposite fullback, Gavaroy, who lays it in towards uh, Amala, who has been pretty crucial for Zlatko Zahovic in his early days. And Amala's in and he shoots. Oh, it's hit the back stanchion. What an effort from Amala. Just given the freedom of Bruges to run. And it was laid into him here. And yeah, the defenders backed off. Good running from the strikers to take the defenders away. Onto that right foot. Just pulls it past the post. And obviously, he got the crucial goal in the previous game to put uh, Standard Liège through to the semi-finals. But yeah, good effort. Vorma with a lovely ball out to Dennis on the left-hand side for Club Bruges. What's, what's he got? He's got an overlap there, but 
He decides to cut infield. He's doing very well here, Dennis. Bastian does get a foot in, though, and take the ball off him. Similar up towards Green. Green looks for Draghouse, but not a very good pass. It's a chance for Andre Green to try and impress from the off. He's normally been used as a substitute by Zlatko Zahovic so far. And uh, that ball in is easy for Lafis to intercept, but he's given it away. And Rika has it again. Dennis, the, all the play seems to be coming down the left-hand side using the fullback. For Club Bruges, Vanaken, Vanaken shoots from range. Oh, it's hit the inside of the post and bounced away. And Standard Liège get a little bit lucky there. And uh, the clearance, well, could work into something special here because Draghouse has pounced on Michele's insecurity at the back. And it's a corner end to end this derby game. And it's going to be Carcella Gonzalez with the corner. What's he got? Carcella Gonzalez. The big guys have come up from the back and Clinton Matter. Sort of could have headed that away, but misjudged the flight of the ball. It hit his back and goes out. And it's another opportunity for Gonzalez to try and put the ball in. He goes back to Faye with a more sensible option. Dinks that one in. Andre Green chasing it, but Scalivez gets it away. Frantic game, 16 minutes in. Not a bad start. Throw in then. Gavaroy into Bastian. Lies that one back, and it's going to fall to Ricardi. And now they could be in trouble here because Club Bruges are going to pounce, and it's Okereke who's got the pace. Lafis comes over to try and deal with him. It's a good ball to Dennis. The left-back, he's been the danger all game. The left-back left midfielder, and he makes it 1-0 Bruges. What a counter-attack from a very poorly taken throw-in for Standard Liège, and it's just come and bit them in the bum, hasn't it? Because Dennis was in, the keeper didn't know whether to come or go, and that's a lovely finish at the near post. 1-0 Club Bruges. Amala. Sees Gavadoy with some space to run into. He goes down the line to Green. Green has just cut back a little bit there too far. Gavadoy in towards Dragaus. Simrot flicks it back out. It's a good move from Standard This Gavadoy overruns it. It was a good move until the actual final third part in the area. And then it was rubbish. Easy for Gavadoy to pounce on that loose pass. Green tries to flick it into the gap for Amala but couldn't quite get it right. And uh, Michelle out to Rika. Rilke for Club Rouge, sort of been controlling the tie, but they are playing themselves into a little bit of pressure every so often, just like that, as it's a good press from Simonot. Balanta gets the uh, clearance away. Dragaus, oh, he's just left that go. Well, I pressed the wrong button, um, and I pressed the leave button rather than the control button. Good tackle there from Gavadoy, Van Houtsen. Standard Liège now going to try and let's possess the ball a bit, try and keep a bit of the possession and work it round into... The areas we need it to be. Faye. No, that's rubbish. That's not keeping the ball, is it? That's being an absolute twonk. Oh, and they've worked it out to Okriki again, whose pace is really worrying me. Dennis has managed to get on the end of that. There's a header. It's off the bar, and Van Houten hooks it away once more. Standardly age looking very dodgy on that right-hand side. That's a foul. And Kremcic takes it quickly. Van Aken into Rika, into Dennis, who has been one hell of a danger man today. Faye, oh, he couldn't even get a foot in there. He's turned him. Cla Lafis with a header away. Similio has to try and turn. He releases Gonzalez, but the pass isn't the best again. And uh, Standard Liège, attacking-wise, not doing too bad, to be honest. It's more defensively. Amala tries to feed it into the path of Green. Can he cut back onto his favoured right foot? No, Clinton Matter, good defending. And Scrivers will bring it away. Oh, and Kremcic has turned, and he's got... Absolutely acres to run into. Gavaroy is back there defending and the keeper got a touch. Couldn't keep it out. 2-0 Club Rouge and you can see it here. I was a bit slow on the old uptake of commentary because I thought we were going to cover him. But he turned much sharper than I thought he would. And then I thought we were going to get it here. But his power and his strength was too much and 2-0 Bruges. And Standard Liège really struggling in the derby now. 2-0 down. Club Rouge showing their class as that's not a bad ball through looking for a Mala. Faye will let that go behind and well this is a position we were on the other side of the pitch where the throwing was so bad it ended up with uh, Club Brew scoring a goal but Gonzalez has done better this time. Referee! Give him a yellow card. As he said he got the ball what? He's given a corner. Right can we have a good delivery this time. Gonzalez flings it in looking for Lafis at the near post but headed away well. It will be a throw in and Gonzalez will keep this one Going relatively quickly. Faye back down the line to Gonzalez, who had cut in, but he is going to get there first. Nice back heel into Faye. Swings that cross in. Andre Green's at the back post, but the defender just beats him to the ball. Gavroy's there. Can't fire the cross in. Great tracking back from Kremcic, the striker. 
And uh, Van Houten's going to have time to bring this one down. Sees Faye in acres of space on the right-hand side. A good ball out to the right-back. Faye into Bastien. Bastien sees the run there. Couldn't pick out Amala, though. Not the best pass. And uh, well, Club Bruges trying to play their way out of trouble. And they've done it very, very well. Skidivej into Clinton Mata. Vorma. That's a good touch. A needed, necessary touch. Had to be good. Dragaus. He's got Amala in front of him. Amala can't quite get on the ball. And that's the problem at the moment with standardly age is that, well, they're not, not creating enough and not stopping enough, which means you generally lose the game. Rika into Kremcic, who goes again to, back to Van Aken, who has just been controlling the play. And it's another free kick given away. Dennis is over it. Is he going to take this one quickly? No, he's going to leave it. Yeah, Van Aken and Kremcic and Dennis just dominating this game. As Vorma is uh, over the free kick. Vorma shoots over the wall. Gillette well placed though to, to, to get that one and just ease it off. And standard Liège, you're going to need a bit of a talking to at half time. Because they go in 2-0 down in the derby. Very disappointing. Only the one shot from Amala fizzing past the post. Club Bruges absolutely dominating. So a substitution at half time for standard Liège's striker Dragaus is replaced by Lestien. I know someone we're more familiar seeing on the wing but he's going to have it given a go through the middle in today's game just to see if his uh, pace can bring more of a more of a challenge to the club Bruce defence rather than Dragaus's physicality and height as uh, that's not a good pass Faye can't get on the end of it Rika with an easy interception Dennis goes back again to Rika and club Bruce know they've got they've no need to rush this at all they can take their time and play the ball out from the back if they choose to do so as they go long, Bastian underneath it beats Dennis in the air. But there's no central midfielder there for standard Liège to pick that ball up. Dennis, back to Van Aken. Goes over the top. That should make its way through. And does goal kick. Tarsela Gonzalez, who hasn't been on the ball enough in this uh, early stage of the second half for standard Liège. Faye tries to put a ball across, but Bastian's there. Backwards header. Nicely done to Simerot. Let's just see if we can, again, try and get the possession and open Club Bruges up. Amala. Not too many options. Goes out to Faye. Infield to Gonzalez. Tries to... Oh, try to knock that one back to the centre-back. So I've got it all wrong. And uh, Club Bruges easily given possession again. And that's such a good pass through there from that man Van Aken again. And it's Dennis. And he's laid that... How has he got that through? How has he got that through? I've put a nice good challenge in him there. And he's managed to slide it into the path of his striker. Look here, Dennis. Oh, there, there, nice shoulder barge. I should have got the ball. And he slides it through. 3-0. Dead and buried. And we started this episode with so much positivity after the uh, the good cup win. And it's all just sort of uh, dissipating as we crack on here. Faye can potentially try and swing this one in. Ricker gets a block on and then doesn't give a foul away, even though he clearly tripped uh, the fullback for standard Liège. And this is where... Club Bruges have done a good job previously, but that's not a good pass. And Lestien couldn't quite get a shot of good block, to be fair. We worked it well, but it was a good block. Andre Green will pick up the loose ball. Tries to flick that one into Gonzalez. Can he find Lestien? It's a lucky, again, a lucky touch from a Club Bruges player. He didn't know too much about it. Lafis van Huytsen. Lots of space on the left for Gavaroy. Gavaroy got a runner in front of him in green, but again, just the pass. And Club Bruges showing why they're one of the better teams in Belgium. Clinton Mata. Okreke, who's not been as busy in this uh, second half. This guy has, though, Kremcic. Van Heusen fouls him. So a substitution work for this free kick is taken. Carcella Gonzalez off. Bielcevic on. Someone we haven't seen too much of in a standard Liège shirt this season. Or since Zlatko Zahovic has come in anyway. And uh, he's... He's on to maybe have a chance to impress. You never know. And uh, there he is. He takes over the captain's armband as well from Casella Gonzalez. As Dennis is there. Nice little shimmy to send Faye the wrong way. Rika puts the ball in and will let that drift behind for a goal kick. Kremcic into Dennis. Dennis tackled well by Van Huytsen that time. Did really well the centre-back there to come away with the ball. As uh, Amala looks for the run of... Elstien tries to dink that one into Aldor de Green, but doesn't quite get the pass right. Bastien. Amala. Gavadoy. Fullbacks for Stanley Liège have been kept very quiet in today's game, and that is 
Where a lot of their strength comes from in this formation. Amala, Bastian, again, not too many options. Bastian into Boljevic, the substitute. Lestien back here, into green, it's tackled away. And again, Club Bruges just hanging on at the very last, managing to get tackles in. As uh, again, how has Kremcic held onto that ball so well up front for Bruges today? As Van Huten then runs into trouble, Lafice runs into trouble, and Kremcic picks up the loose pass once again. And it's been the difference when we played Club Bruges and Ghent so far. The two strikers they've had in terms of Depotar and uh, Kremcic have been the difference. But hang on, here's Andre Green. He's in. He's up against Michel, who puts in a very good uh, shoulder barge tackle and comes away with the ball. Andre Green, not the strongest. Ten minutes to go, 3-0. It's surely game over here in Bruges. Green, that's a good-looking pass. Oh, Boljevic has a chance to counter. Andre Green with absolutely acres of space on that left-hand side. Nice bit of footwork to get his way through. Tries to put it in towards Letien, who shoots. He's at the post. Can you bloody believe it? Oh, good counter-attack. I've had a really itchy nose through the whole of this episode as well. Andre Green, lovely bit of footwork. Maybe could have laid in Boljevic, but put into Lefetien, who did well. Right-footed drive. Keeper was beaten, hit the post. Can't believe it. Luck is out. Club Bruges having all the luck and taking their chances as Rami comes on to replace Clinton Mata. And uh, showing their depth as well, because that's another good player they can bring on. That's a good challenge from Boljevic, who's done all right since coming on, to be fair. He's not had a chance to impact the game too much, but... When he's been involved, he's generally done okay. That's a poor pass. Vanarkin. Boljevic is back there again, getting involved, which is good. Bastien. Lestien onto Amala. He's got Boljevic in a bit of space. Tries to fire that in low, but Mikel are there. Mikel, Michel, Mikel has been a very good defensive unit for, uh, or defensive rock, I should say, for Club Bruges. But this man up front surely has to be man of the match because Kremcic has been not giving the centre-backs any sort of chance to get passes sorted or touches on the ball and has also got a couple of goals to boot as well. Andre Green tries to find less the end but not working and definitely, definitely in the hunt for a striker. Come on scouts, find me a striker. Oh, that was lucky the full-time whistle went because Gillet was in a bit of trouble. 3-0, Kremcic with the brace and Dennis with the goal. Standard Liège have lots of questions to be answered and that is not good build-up. Um, and not good for morale. That's dreadful. Coming off the re a really good cup win, we then go and get spanked by Club Bruges, and it gives them a one-point lead at the top. We stay in seventh, but six points adrift of Anderlecht, who we play next, and uh, that will be coming right up. Or will it? Because we have negotiations, apparently. A bitter defeat against Club Bruges. It was a bitter defeat. It really was. Uh, Shamir from Brentford. Yeah, they don't want to agree to our terms. And we have some scouting done. So we have six players to look at. Let's go and have a look here then. So Argentina, Orsini, Luciero and Aramis. And then we've got Hedlund, Sec and Svek as well. So, okay. Uh, Hedlund, are you quick? Yes, you are. You might have a chance. Finishing 71 isn't the best, but on manual it's not too much of a, an issue. He is quick though, which is good. He's on a downwards, uh, downward decline. 29 years old, not too bad. Dipping shot, track back. Not a fan of track back though. Uh, Svek in hold midfield looks absolutely shocking. Probably not. Uh, and so does Sek. So we've got Sek and Svek. Interesting. Um, 33 years old. Plays in our league. But I think Hedlund could be in with a shout. Let's go and look at the strikers from Argentina. I recognise Orsini from Lanus. Goal poacher. Not quick. He's another target man, so probably a no. Lucero, 31-year-old hole player from Vélez Sarsfield. Uh, no, no speed. Ramis, 33 from Velez Sarsfield. A bit quicker. I think Hodland is the guy, I think. Or oh, Hedlund is the guy who we try and bring on on a cheap little deal. He's got a cheap wage. He's got a cheap uh, cheap market value. Let's see if we can bring him in. 595. Let's see if we can get him for 417. I'll offer that. A two-year deal, I think, is fine. Uh, wages will just knock down by one. Release fee, he can keep that in there. Right, let's go and see if we can get that new striker in. The other options were all pretty terrible. Right, we've got an offer for Van Huytzen as well from Freiburg. Freiburg? Freiburg? Freiburg, which I'm probably going to just completely reject, according to he's our... Uh, 
he's our starting centre back, although he had a shocker in the last game. But, you know, I'm controlling him, so I can't really blame anyone else. Right, Anderlecht. Here we go. A place that I've been, a stadium that I visited, Anderlecht Stadium, but we're not going to be playing there because we're at home. Vashardo, very good. Dimata, very good. Yeah, they've got a good team. They've got a good team. Arnie's team, I think. So, Arnie, get in the chat and say, come on, Anderlecht. Why not? It's another derby as well. So, let's see what they say we're going to play. Who is Godfroy? He's a 62 rated rubbish goalkeeper. Uh, Avanti is going to start up front. Andre Green will be a super sub off the bench again. I think we're going to go with whatever they recommend. Um, Faye, Gavory, again, Van Huten, Lafis. I am happy with that team. Let's just make sure we've got... We'll send... Uh, actually, we'll go Lafis, Van Huysen, and Aven. We'll, we'll leave Bacardi back as a holding midfielder. Right, let's go. Let's go and get a win. So here we are then in Liège for Standard Liège v Anderlecht. A big game, a derby game. Back-to-back -back derby games for Standard Liège. And the last one was pretty dreadful. A 3-0 loss to Club Bruges. Zlatko Zahovic's men will be hoping that they can, uh, well, improve the performance and start to get some better wins here because they really are struggling in the league this year the cup has gone well but the league is where they are struggling to make an impact as again possession given away very early on as we've got a few players playing in different positions they're not used to but Di Mata is uh, out wide and Vachardin who's another very good ball playing midfielder uh, in this Belgium league Lafis up against Vlap and Faye is well, no call from the goalkeeper, so Faye dealt with it and, and gets it away as Bastien comes forward. He looks up the line going towards Casella Gonzalez. Infield to Aventi, who comes back into the team, and that was a rubbish touch, wasn't it? As uh, Di Mata is there again into Tao. Tao with the ball, just lays that back to Vlap. He looks like a, a big lad. Into Di Mata over the bar. Great sliding tackle, and it's actually fell to Fashardin. Lekongo gets it back. He put in the superb. Sliding tackle. Van Huten covers it. He's caught late. Referee, I think, says play on and then doesn't bring it back for a free kick. For Chardin goes high into Di Mata. Early shot and well, it took the keeper by surprise. Tao picks up the loose ball. Decided not to shoot first time and it let, allowed Faye to get back in position. This Anderlecht team are up for this game. Vlat with a shot. Keeper's had a shocker. Come on, goalkeeper. Oh, man. Absolute Vlat just taken out in the celebration as well, but... I know Ander Anderlecht have got good players, but man, that goalkeeper's had a shocker. He just sort of wafts at it as it goes past him. Terrible goalkeeper. And Anderlecht again, <sighs> taking the lead over this standardly aged team who have got it all to do. Really struggling in the league against the bigger teams. Which is not what... Well, I mean, Zlatko Zovic could be in risk of losing his job here as that's again over here. I can't, I can't seem to judge the power. Of these passes. I keep thinking that the kicking power of the players will be lower than it is. Ah, oh, because they're, well, they're not very good players. Di Mata wins the header. Alestrian keeps it in. And that's a, a good little one-two to win it back. Terrible pass again. That's my pro That's my fault. Tao again picking up space and going around. Faye like he wasn't there. And Vlap, the goal scorer, tries to put that one across. Gavadoy is underneath it and can get there. Bukardi. No, terrible pass. Take my time, Dave. Why am I trying to play this direct football? And I've left a massive gap there. Although they've completely missed it out. Gone to Vlap. Vlap! Oh, my God. It's 2-0. Crumbling. Crumbling in this game. I should have stopped after the cup quarterfinal, shouldn't I? Ugh. Gavadoy. Lestien. Instead of Gonzalez. I think he's just too, they're too slow. They're too slow. They're too immobile. They're so bad compared to Boca Juniors. Right, we've got a dangerous free kick though. I mean, Consilla Gonzalez at 73 is our best. Pretty tall wall, isn't it? See if we can get it up and over the wall. Gonzalez does, but not under the goal frame. And it's still 2-0. And to compound matters, I've still got this really itchy nose. I don't know what it is. It's very, very irritating. Tower again. I mean, he's so much quicker than Faye. Right, Lafis. Let's try and just make something a little bit more sensible here. Faye comes forward. I mean, he's got runners in front of him, but no one's really running in a sensible area. Fancy into... Marcelo Gonzalez tries to put the cross in. It's a corner. It's a, it's a little bit more positive. Um, I'll tell you what. They, no corners I've been trying have been working, really. So let's go for... Let's try for this one again. 
And it goes. Lafis trebles there. It's a terrible corner in. Di Mata. And hold that up. Gavroy just about gets a touch on it to stop it going back through to Di Mata. But he's going to get on the end of this ball now. As, uh, look at his pace. Look at his pace and his strength compared to our players. And Vashardin's in. He shoots. This time it's a save. And uh, Oh, short Referee. That's got to be a free kick. He's just barged me in the back. How is that not a free kick? Oh. Pez for 2022. Konami. Sort out the referees in the collision system, please. It's going to be Vashardin with the corner for Anderlecht. Half an hour in. 2-0 down. And it's been all Anderlecht. It's a good header away, that one. It's going to fall to Tau. It's, to, it's bouncing around. I don't know where it's gone. Bacardi just pokes it away. Casella Gonzalez. I mean, they're just everywhere. The team and the shirts, the players in purple, is what I was trying to say, are absolutely everywhere. Murillo. I'm sure to rub salt into the wounds. I used to own an Anderlecht top. I bought one. When I went to Anderlecht, Vlap's done it again. Oh, my word. Why couldn't have Anderlecht offered me the job? 3-0. Three, three goals for Vlap. He's got a hat-trick in the first half. Two curling efforts, which are impossible to do on Fuma, by the way. And the keeper's just flapping. Flapping at everything. Shocking goalkeeping. There's still 10 minutes to half time. We're going to have to change change something here. Yeah, this has been dreadful games back to back. As Trebel gets around and locks that into the path of a Chardon. That's a good block. I mean, do we tightly mark Vlat? Do we try and keep a, 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 a look on him a bit closer? Di Mata. Di Mata turns and shoots. Oh, it's another one. It's four. What are these goals? What are these goals? That one, I'm going to say the keeper could probably do nothing about, but... What are these goals? What is going on? Anderlecht playing like prime at Barcelona with their passing and their finishing here. Absolutely incredible. Incredulous, one could say. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's been an absolute hammering. Back-to-back -back hammerings. The, the, the standard Liège players are getting no sort of purchase on the ball when I try and pass. Our, our team spirit must be really, really low. Bastien. Gonzalez. Aventi. Gonzalez. Can't even flick the header down. Faye will get there. and That's a foul, ref. That's a foul. How is that not a free kick? I've got the momentum running past him. He just runs into me and stops it. Um, Lafis is there. Header goes past the post. Terrible. Terrible. Half time, 4 0. Three goals for Vlap, one for Dimata. I mean, we know they're good, but this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. We are so bad. So, so bad. Um, how do I do marking? Where's marking? Mark, mark settings. Uh, Van Huyten, Mark Dimata. Bacardi, Mark, Vlap. I mean, it's just... Ugh, they are... Look at their player ratings. They are so much better than us generally all round. Right, let's uh, let's have a think about what to do here and change this up. So, double substitution at half-time. Andre Green on for um, that guy on the left wing whose name I forget, Lestien. And uh, also, Silvestra off, who's uh, playing as an auxiliary attacking midfield. We really, really, really missed Amala. Uh, he's come off to be replaced by... Um, the other striker whose name I forget they've also made a sub as well for Sharon off they probably feel they can just rest him now because there's really oh my god they're not in any sort of trouble and elect not at all not at all the cheapest corner I think I've ever given away in Pez and uh, Trebel is going to be taking this and he goes short towards Lakongu who's up against Lafis I mean look at his pace look at his pace Incredible, and then two players take themselves out. Keeper does come and catch it, which is, you know, a miracle in this sort of sense. Van Huyten. I mean, oh my god, I'm getting frustrated, which means I'm not thinking about the passes to the bell. And if you're worried if I ever, you know, save and reset, then I think this game proves that I definitely don't. Gonzalez, come on, best the end. You had the pace, and then as soon as there's any sort of physical contact, they all wilt like a spinach in a frying pan that is a strange an analogy but it's a true one and that's a good ball there's a shot oh and he saved it what an absolute 
knob of butter. Gavary. Lots of food references coming out. Gonzalez. Just hold him up. That's it. Try and draw him out. That's a good ball. No. Foul, ref. Foul. Come on. Come on. One goal just to give us a bit of confidence. It's a yellow card. Good. Deserve. Flew through the back of him as I turned. I turned and passed. Flew in. Yeah. Definite. Right. Did, did, hope, did we bring on anyone that's good at free kicks? No, we didn't. Right. The keeper's trying to get a, an eye on this one. It's up and over the wall. It's too high again. Too high again from Casella Gonzalez. Still 4-0. Zlatko Zovic putting his thumb in the air. No chance. 4-0 down, mate. Don't be positive. You've got to be pissed. Really, really pissed and angry about this. Really. Got Ulade and the big tall, tall guy up front, Aventi. And there is Aventi. And he's trying to flick that one through to Ulade. I mean, we might have to start looking at the, the sort of younger players that I... Wrote off earlier on just to see if they've got some pace. Andre Green, ball through. Aventi toe pokes it. It's a good save. Wasn't the most powerful shot in the world, but we're definitely playing better. That's a decent ball in. Aventi can turn. Why didn't I shoot? Why didn't I shoot? Van Huydsen tries to play a direct pass into the strikers again. Bacardi is going to be pulled out of position to try and put a press on. We've got Andre Green, Aventi. Uh, thingy Bob Gonzalez and where the, f the hell is my left back Trebel, Marilo, Bacali up against Bastian actually turns him well into Di Mata and oh my god the keeper has managed to keep it out somehow I'm not too sure why he's not catching that Gavaroy Vlap with a good challenge again I mean he's already nailed on for man of the match Flap isn't he he's had an outstanding game Bacardi has to come out and press Trebel keeps it in Puts that one in. Lafice reads the cross and wins the header really well. Aventi goes forward. He's caught late. Andre Green sees a lot of space for Fai. Invites him forward. Come on, Fai. Keep it in. There we go. Let's just put an early cross in. See what we can do with that. I mean, it's gone towards Andre Green, not the player you want it to go towards when you've got two players that are like six foot one in there. You go for the winger who's about five foot nine. And, uh, oh, that's a good pass. Come on, Lafice. Have your pace. Have the pace. Get there first. I mean... Keeper, keeper, keeper. Why are you not coming for that? Why have I had to call him out there? Terrible goalkeeping from Badat. And the worrying thing is, he's our best goalkeeper. Ulade, Andre Green. Ref, ref, ref. Are you joking me? How is that not a free kick? Oh, man. Andre Green back on his feet after that career-ending tackle and he's uh, well he's got it back I'm just going to shoot with Andre Green a keeper's made a good save should have cut inside in his well he used his right foot I could have cut inside a bit more but it's been better the 4-2-4 has, uh, has helped but it's still not been a brilliant performance it's bounced all the way through again someone react someone react to it man come on Andre Green with the throw in. Fai gets there first. Back to Green. On the edge is Bastien. I mean, I've tried a bit of skill there that was never going to come off. Di Mata into Amuse. Lokongo under pressure. And Bacardi's won it back really high up the pitch. The player's getting in each other's way. Come on. It's not meant for him, is it? In real life, he would jump out of the way. Unbelievable. It's been 45 minutes of moaning in this second half as Di Mata's in. He scuffed that shot. So Faye is off and Jans is on. Faye ran himself into the ground, albeit for not much uh, actual productivity, it would seem. But Bacardi into Green. Green up to Aventi. This is better passing, but again, they're just so slow to release the ball some of the time. And, uh, well, everyone's, everyone's knackered. Trebel looking for Morello again into Di Mata. And, and Di Mata, Vichardin and Flap have been the difference in this game. And that's, uh, that's obvious to see, right. Aventi, hold it up. Good. Wait for some runners to go in a different direction. I mean, runners, go in a different direction, please. You're all running in the same sort of area. Flicks it through. Terrible pass. I mean, why is not one of them pulling wide to take the defender away and then the other one running through the middle to try and make place for a through pass? Unbelievable. So bad. So bad. 
to the bell. I apologise for the moaning. I'm sure some of you love it when I moan. I'm sure a lot of you love the fact that I get annoyed by the game. As uh, oh. I know on Twitch there's a hashtag Dave Rage, which I don't think I rage very often. I just moan. Maybe raging would be better for me, better for the soul. To the bell, into the matter. Van Huten comes out and reads it, and but Trebel still wins it. And there's another header, and the keeper. I mean, wh why? Why is he not reacting? I've told him to boot this away, and he's waiting for the ball to come towards him. That is so bad. There. What's he doing? What is he doing? 5 0. Absolute joke. Uh, absolute joke. An absolute. I should be sacked. I should be sacked after this. Imagine the fans. A new manager comes in, and he's won one game, which was in the cup. He's drawn one, lost one, then has two massive rivalry games, and loses them at an aggregate score of 8 0 absolutely terrible i mean look at this look how much more stamina their players have got look how much better they are unbelievable i don't think we're going to be staying at standard liege long to be honest i might i might i might see what other jobs come up in the, in the summer and just move after six months because i don't know it's not i'm moaning now i'm moaning and i'm being negative which i don't like to do but yeah they won it easily oh, we need to get that team spirit up vincent company's team with a dominant performance just need to get that need to get that team spirit up down into ninth. We're dropping down the table. Ah, uh, uh, shocking, absolutely shocking. Give me a striker, please. Scouts, I mean, sack all the scouts. They've been useless. They've been absolutely useless. Doing sod all. Right, La Valenti has been found. Who the hell? Who the hell are you? He's a centre back, seventy-seven rated. He might be worth bringing in. Twenty-three years old. Good head in. Good. No, he's really slow. No, he's not. That's curl. Speed 72. Not too bad. Market value 4 million. Salary 12. It might be tough. Might be tough to bring him in. Let's see if we can go 2.6. We'll give him a two-year deal. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get him on the wages, I think. Let's see if we can bring him in. Maybe on a loan. Maybe I, haven't, maybe I need to look at some loan deals. Let's go and see if we can get anyone better on loan. I'll do that off camera. Well, that was shocking. Stand Eastbound like walked off the pitch to universal booing following the historic five-point difference dropping by Anderlecht. Well, there you go. There you go. Right, we're done. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back for another game in the future. I'm going to do a couple offline and get back in the swing of things. Back for deadline day. See you then. Cheers.